What's up guys? Welcome to our week one match of the UPA. I can tell you I'm very, very excited and at the same time I'm extremely nervous. I don't know how this is going to go before we start, uh, before I challenge him. I just wanted to address something here. I did fix my EVs here. I adjusted Entei speed down to 274 because it outspeeds his Absol and there's nothing afterwards above that speed tier which hits... Um, which hits 299, between 274 and 299, so was, there was no point in putting it there. So I put the rest of the bulk in his HP. Be able to take uh, hits a little bit hit better, so here we go, guys. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's pick uh, team number 37. It is saved, I think. Let's hope. And let's go. Whew! All right. Let's see what this guy brought. <laughs> hopefully the uh, team builder, hopefully the practice games were enough to get me ready for this game. Guys, you don't understand how nervous I am. This is this is pretty big. I really like. You know what? Win or lose, I just want a winning record. Okay, so we see his team. He brings a lot of the stuff that I did not expect him to bring, such as the Tokedic and the Mega Ampharos. I didn't think they had very good matchups against me. I'm looking at this though, and if his Roserade's not packing HP fire, we can get a De Blade sweep on this man very very easily. We can get a De Blade sweep. So. Uh, I think I'm going to... I'm not going to stick to my initial plan because now his only Stealth Rocker... Actually, does he even have one? I don't think he does. Let me just open up a damage calc for you guys real quick. Because um, I need to calc some stuff. Alright. Yo. Oh, damn. Okay, Drew's here too. Alright, everybody. everybody's in the chat. Alright. Um, I think I'm just going to lead with Seismitoad here. I think it's my best overall lead. We'll see what he wants to lead with, and uh, let's just make sure. I'm going to go back to the team builder here. I'm going to go into this team right here, import-export. I'm going to grab all of our sets. Oh, we didn't nickname these guys, did we? Did we? Um, hold on a second. Nope, did not. You too. And he leads with his Roserade. It's a little unfortunate as we lead with Seismitoad. I'm just going to paste all of our... I should have done this before and should have nicknamed my Pokemon as well. We're going to have our nicknames next week though, guys. Don't worry. And uh, on this thing, I'm just going to go into uh, Chestnut. Wait, what? Oh, damn. <laughs> Lol. Um, yep. Let me... Nickname as well. <laughs> Play in Ubers. Why? Why? Why Ubers? Hold on. Well, I'm going to pause it, guys, here. Sorry uh, sorry about this, and uh, we'll be right back. All right, guys, we are back. So sorry about all that. So uh, we got our Pokemon nicknamed. We got everything into the damage calculator. Uh, we are going to do same lead. So it is Seismitoad against Roserade. I can just very easily go in Chestnut. And I'm going to scout for the HP f uh, flying, like we said in the team builder. Really got to watch out for that. So uh, his only real good way of handling Chestnut, if he doesn't have HP flying on the Roserade, is going to be with uh, Sigilyph. So as long as we can predict when it's going to come out, we should be good to go. He does have a defogger, which is a little annoying, but uh, Entei puts in a lot of work here if it gets off burns. Uh, so he is going to lead with the Roserade, of course. Jamie the Roserade, and we are switching directly into our Chestnut right here. You too. Did I type you too? No, we're going, going. There we go. All right, so we're good to go. Hopefully the team we built is good enough. Uh, survives here. Everybody's here pretty much. He's going to go for the Sleep Powder. That's not going to do anything. And uh, I really want to scout for the HP Fire or the HP Flying right now. So I'm just going to go... He could double into Sigilyph. Shouldn't be a bad play on his part. Could go into Weavile. Could go into Entei here. <sighs> what can I do? All right, well, we're going Latias because I really need to scout for the HP flying. If this is super effective, we know it's ice. If it is not very effective, we know it's fire. And if it's neutral, we know it's flying. So that's why Latias is really good right here. And I'm expecting I'm expecting the Togetic or the Sigilyph to want to come out if he doesn't have any coverage for us. I am just going to scout right off the bat. I do not want to get caught off guard with the HP flying. We're not running Koba Berry. And even if we were, I think it still has a chance to knock us out unless we're fully specially defensive. So... I really, uh, really need to watch out for this thing. Obviously, my chestnut walls his his Roserade if he doesn't have it, so we are scouting for it right here. Let's go. 
He's taking some time to make his play. I'm going to start the timer on this man. <laughs> Alright, so uh, I'm going to... I'm not going to pause these games. I'm really uh, just going to... Oh, now we have a timer, so we're pretty much uh, GBA format rules right now. Same amount of time. going to make this mic a little bit further from my face here. And uh, we'll see what he wants to do. I mean... Here we go, he's switching to Latias as he does stay in, and he goes for another Sleep Powder. That's a little bit strange, wasn't expecting that. Alright, well I can pretty much just stay in here and burn off a turn of Sleep. That's perfectly fine, I really didn't expect him to go for that again. I don't know why he, he did that, I have a Chestnut in, I guess he he thought that I couldn't touch him. Let's see what he goes for, he, he goes for the Shadow Ball, okay. So, we know that Chestnut has a pretty good matchup against this, being leftovers and all. So I am going to switch out right here. And I'm going to go right back out into Chestnut. And he's going to go for another Shadow Ball. And we are bulletproof. So we take that. Alright. Let's do it. Send him up with the Zen Headbutt. He's got the HP flying. We scouted for it, but he does have it. Oh man, that sucks. Alright, he got us there. He got us. Uh, that's definitely not HP Fire because that wouldn't have taken us out. Now I'm kind of forced into Weavile. We're not packing the, uh, the Aerial Ace anymore. I was packing it at some point. But knowing that he's HP flying... Pretty safe to go in a Weavile here. We have Sleep Fodder with, uh, with Latias. Alright, so we'll just do that, and, uh, we'll click Knock Off, and we'll see, uh, what, what item we get off here. And if he goes into Ampharos, I'm probably gonna switch out, because he's probably not gonna Mega Evolve, and, uh, hopefully he's not packing the Hidden Power Grass on that thing, but, uh, yeah. So, we lose our Chestnut early. Very good answer to Roserade, but uh, he had the Hidden Power flying, and he caught us off guard. I could have gone for the Zen Headbutt on the first turn, but again, if he had the Hidden Power flying, we were pretty much done. So, we get the knockoff off there. He is going to get his Choice Scarf knocked off. Okay, so he's not Choice Specs, which is great. Uh, we have a perfectly good switch into this, being our our Seismic Toad. He could predict that and switch back into Roserade, which is kind of what I'm fearing. Uh, at the same time, what do I lose by going into... No, I'm pretty good here. I'm just going to go into Seismitoad as he scalds. We are the Water Absorb. And I'm just going to get up my rocks right here. If he's hitting Power Grass Keldeo, that's just crazy. That's insane. Like, he caught me off guard. That's just really good planning on his part, I guess. But uh, he's got the Roserade for this, so I don't see why he would do that. Getting up rocks is going to be very, very good here. As we can Sludge Wave the Togetic. Obviously, I can't stay in on Sigilyph because of the threat of Energy Ball. As he does go directly into it. And I'm going to switch out into my Entei right here. And this Energy Ball is going to be resistant on Entei, so... I'm going to be pretty, uh, pretty good shape here. If we can get a burn off on something, that would be great. Uh, except for this thing, of course, because it is Magic Guard, but... We'll see what he wants to do here. Man, it really sucks losing Chestnut that early, but... We had to make that play. He goes for Air Slash. It's going to do a lot of damage. And he's going to be able to outspeed us. I want to calc that, actually. Hold on a second. Because we have a lot of bulk. Entei, custom set, uh, that's not it, wait a minute, where is Geo, that's it, against Sigilyph, are you attacker, give me air slash, this thing's life orb, timid, yeah, no, that's a max roll, actually, he got a max roll there, so you know what, I'm just gonna sacred fire here, because if he doesn't flinch us, and he doesn't get that same max roll, we have a very good chance of living, the next one is in our favor, and we can potentially bring this thing down to its sash, which would be amazing for DeBlade. I really need to DeBlade to come through here. DeBlade is our win con at this point. If I get up one Swords Dance, I'm in very good shape. As he goes for Psychic right there, that is going to knock us out. I thought Psychic had the same base power as Air Slash, but I could be wrong. Uh, psychic. How much is Psychic? Uh, 52 to 61. No, so it's got a little bit higher base power. But now I get to go into Weavile. And, uh... Pretty much just click knock off again, I think. It's fine. And that's exactly what we're going to do. He could be sashed, but that pretty much sets up for the blade. This is a pretty bad battle for me right here. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm not too proud of myself on those turns, but I didn't have a, another good switch other than Entei. Pretty much anything else went down. I couldn't risk him going for a heat wave on the blade. He went for a, an air slash on Seismitoad, which I don't understand. Is he not packing the energy ball? That'd be very strange, but... Right here, we're going to be able to hit something extremely hard. We did get rid of Keldeo's, uh, Keldeo's Scarf, so we are faster with our Weavile now. He can't risk going into his Togetic. Weavile just plows through his team, man. If I can get Latios to wake up, 
I can still win this. We are 6-4 down, but my most important Pokemon are still alive. So, Entei was really only here for if he brought the Bronzong, if he brought... I, like, obviously I could have swept the game with, uh, with E-Speed, but it was really here for if he brought the Bronzong, so... He's gonna switch out and go into Snorlax as I knock off again. I'm gonna get this thing's Assault Vest out of here, and another knockoff should be able to kill, uh, I think. But I don't think I'm going to risk that, and I'm just going to go for the low kick right here and knock out his Snorlax. He is going to be able to go into his Keldeo, but it lost its Scarf, and it can't really touch our Latias. And we have Seismitoad in the Blade, which is the core that still beats his Keldeo. So, I think we can play some mind games with the Keldeo now. Let's see. Again, the Blade just wins. The Blade wins this game, because I'm pretty sure a Heat Wave from this thing does not take out our Blade. How much does it do? Winner. How much do you take? Okay, well, it's a roll. It's a roll. So we need to get lucky on the roll. I did have speed investment in my Deblade to be able to, out to speed creep his Togetic, but now I don't have it anymore. Ah, okay, so he goes into his Keldeo. I'm not going to go into my Seismitoad this time, ah, but I need, I need this to wake up. I can't believe I caught, caught by a second Sleep Powder. Had I just gone for Zen Headbutt, that would have been insane. But, um, what can I go for here? Yeah, let's go into, uh, into our Latias here. He goes for a Secret Sword, doesn't do too much. We are able to take another one, so we are going to be able to get a chance to wake up right here and go for a Psy Shock. We'll see if he has the Icy Wind. It'd be good on his part if he did. Um, but I don't have another play. I have to go for Psy Shock right here as he goes into his bird. All right, so this thing comes in, and... I want to go into our Seismitoad here, because unless he's running max speed, we're pretty much good to go. Seismitoad does give his Roserade a free switch in, but it's not Life Orb, so I'm wondering what he's going to do. Okay, so he goes for a Wish. I'm kind of expecting the Keldeo to come in, so I want to go back into my, into my Latias here, predicting that, as he goes into Sigilyph. Okay, interesting. Does this thing get Shadow Ball? Let's find out. Let's go to the Team Builder. And go to Sigilyph. Do you get Shadow Ball as well? You do. Okay. Alright. Well, um... What am I going to do here? Uh, okay. I have to go into Seismitoad and test if he has the Energy Ball. Because if he's packing Energy Ball, he might not be packing the Heat Wave. I very much doubt that, but it's still a possibility. He also just wasted a Wish and gave me Leftovers for no apparent reason. Because now his Togetic comes in a lot weaker and it, get, it goes down to an Icicle Crash, I'm pretty sure, from an Adamant Weavile. So. Also, I think his Keldeo does too. Hold on. Keldeo, Choice Scarf versus Weavile. Weavile, you are Weasley. And we are adamant, and Icicle Crash does 31 to 37, so not exactly. I have to switch out here. I can't let this thing go down. I still have to keep myself in the game. He goes for an Air Slash. It does a lot. And I have to test for the Energy Ball right here. I cannot stay in. I mean, I cannot switch out. I pretty much have to attack whatever comes out. And I'm just going to throw off a Scald here. He more than likely has the Energy Ball, and he was bluffing, not having it by going for Air Slash before on the Entei. But we'll see. Does this thing, wait a minute, does this thing get energy ball? Am I, am I insane? Like, there's no way it doesn't, right? Energy, yeah, it does. Okay, yeah, I'm not crazy. I'm, I definitely saw that in our test games. Okay, he's going to go for the air slash. He's not going to get the flinch, so we're going to be able to break Sash right here. This is huge. If he actually is focused Sash, this is huge, guys. I'm going to let my Seismitoad go down. It doesn't do much for me in this game anymore. That's perfectly fine. I get to go into my Weavile again and pick up a kill right here that's that's great that's amazing just gonna go for the knockoff it's going to be able to do massive damage to something his Ampharos is not gonna appreciate this at all and um, we might be able to still win this guys Weavile puts in a lot of work if Latios can wake up we can do this we can get a Psy Shock off on his Keldeo and proceed to Healing Wish up our, our Weavile so Let's see, we have the Ice Shard for the Roserade, if it's Scarfed, it's not, we know it's not Scarfed, it switched up moves, it destroyed our Chestnut, but 
Woo! All right, <laughs> let's see. Let's see what he wants to do here. He can't switch in Keldeo because it goes down to knockoff plus Icicle Crash. So that's a bad play. His best play is probably going into Ampharos. But I can also Icicle Crash right here. But I don't want to miss. So he has to pick fodder right here. He pretty much has to pick something to sack off. Because we know that knockoff without an item does enough to put him in range of Icicle Crash easily because we're adamant. So this is looking good, guys. This is looking good. He did switch up moves, so his Siglyph's not Scarfed either. So we'd have nothing to worry about there. And he has 90 seconds left, so the timer's counting down on him. I think he just realized how potent of a threat this thing actually is to his team. I'm going to knock off his Roserade, and we're able to take that out. That's great. He won't be able to sleep out or anything anymore if Latias actually decides to wake up. And uh, he's going to go into his Keldeo. Now I can do one of two things here. I can either flinch <laughs> with Icicle Crash, which is a terrible play. Or I can go into my, my winner and see if we can put this thing in range of an icicle crash that's a that's a very very risky play though the thing is i'm predicting icy wind and if he goes for that on latias then i lose it so yeah i'm going into the blade as he goes for the scald all right well that didn't work out but now knowing that now i can switch this in Definitely, 100% of the time. We are asleep, so we can't get burned. And we're going to be able to kill off another turn of sleep right here. His Togetic is very weak. And I'm just going for the Psy Shock. No reason not to. It also gives us a chance to see what kind of Ampharos he is. If he lets that thing take damage, then we definitely win. How much does Icicle Crash do? I just needed to get it in range. 31 min. Okay. Alright, so the Sigilyph is going to take a Psy Shock upon switching. And then it has to take a... Then it has to take... Oh, we crit it. Oh my god. That's huge. That is absolutely huge. That did 37%. Oh my god. That's enormous. Because basically what happens here is that I can go into my Deblade. He's not going for Heat Wave. He's going for Air Slash. And I can Shadow Sneak this thing. And I can basically Shadow Sneak whatever else comes out. So he chooses to go into his Ampharos. So I'm going to be able to get damage off on this thing. That's insane. He gets the static. Not too big of a deal because we still have our Latias alive. And I'm going to Shadow Sneak again as he gets the Mold Breaker. Let's sneak this thing. As he goes for a Pulse, he's going to be able to take us out right there. And I'm going to go into Latias and go for the Healing Wish, I think. No, we still need damage on the Keldeo. Hold on. Hold up. Alright. I have to go for a Draco right here. I think I need a flinch with Weavile. I think that's my only way to win. I absolutely need to flinch with Weavile. But I can still do it. If Weavile gets the flinch or a crit or anything of the sort, we can still take this back. I think he has to stay in here. He can't risk me recovering up. I don't think, anyway. So... We can definitely do this. I definitely just need to either flinch or crit with, with Weavile. Woo, this is very stressful, guys. This is extremely stressful. And the problem here is that if he switches out and he lets something go down like this, then he gets a free switch into whatever he chooses. And basically, Weavile can't take hits. And that's the problem right here that we're facing. I can still pull this back, though. He chooses to go into his Togetic. All right. Well, you know what? I'm just going to... Ah, this thing has Wish. And it have... if it has Dazzling Gleam, I think it can take me out, too. I have to Psy Shock right here on his Wish. As he actually goes for Thunder Wave. Okay. All right. Wait a minute. We're not too bad. We're still in this. I think I'm going to go straight into Weavile here. Yeah, I'm going to go straight into Weavile as he goes for the Wish. Okay, cool, cool. And I think he has to switch into Keldeo. The problem is Keldeo still can't burn me because I have this Paralysis. So if he does that, if he wishes up, but this thing has no HP, right? 
Hold on, what's Keldeo's HP? Base 90, what's Togetic's? Togetic, are you defensive? It's base 55. Even if it passes a wish, it's only gaining 160 HP. So, do I just go for, hold on a second. Weavile, how much exactly do you do to a Keldeo with low kick? No, you don't do enough. Ugh. This thing's a problem. This thing is a problem. If I let his Keldeo come in for free, then I can actually lose. I have to crash here. He's going to go for Protect. Okay, that's not bad. That I can deal with. Problem is he can go for Thunder Wave right here, and I don't think our Icicle Crash can take out his Togetic. Togetic, are you defensive? Icicle Crash does 64 to 77, so definitely not enough. And if he's packing the Dazzling Gleam, I mean, he can just Thunder Wave us, so... I need a flinch right here. That did a lot more than I expected it to, actually. He flinches. Oh. My. God. No. Oh my god. I'm so sorry, dude. I'm so sorry. That is insane. That is actually insane. Because now we pick this thing off with an ice shard. We don't even have to risk missing. And he's forced into his Keldeo. Yeah. I mean, that's pretty much game over at this point. Um, he goes into Keldeo. I guess he could predict me, but if he lets himself come back in on rocks, the thing is, my Icicle Crash has a very good chance to take him out. It's a roll, I think, in my favor, if I'm not mistaken. He could also not be max speed Scarf, which is a possibility. I'm going to go into my Latias here. He's going to Secret Sword. And now I'm just going to go for a Psy Shock, because if I weaken this, then I win automatically. So, just gonna go for that. And, uh, I don't know if his Ampharos actually takes one. He goes for the Hydro Pump and gets a crit. Oh, wow. That's huge. That's huge, too. Ah, uh, No! That mattered. Of course that mattered. <sighs> Hold on. Uh, so I need to flinch on this, too. So I need... Another flinch. <laughs> Oh my god, come on! No, that definitely mattered! Latias, Clara, you could have taken that any day! Come on, no! Oh. Go. Flinch! Flinch! No, okay, well that's good game. Alright, so we lost our, our first week of the of the UPA, unfortunately, guys. We put, it, we put in our best, I think we, uh... We d what, what are these ads? What is this? <laughs> Why is this coming up on my screen? <laughs> anyway, we, I think we did pretty well. I think the, uh, the Roserade play was very nice on his part. Had we weakened the Roserade right off the bat, we would have been able to, to definitely take that. I should have just gone with my gut and gone for the Zen head, but I knew he wouldn't... <sighs> I, was, I thought he didn't have the HP flying, to be honest, but he ended up having it, so... That's uh, kudos to him. Kudos to Swampy. He got me. I think we had a pretty bad matchup in terms of team matchup. A lot of Pokemon that uh, pretty much wrecked our team. And he brought a lot of the stuff that I didn't expect him to bring. I tested up with a couple of people in the league, and they uh, they brought a lot of different sets. Uh, well, actually, I tested with one person specifically, and he, uh, he brought the same sets every time. We had a couple of test rounds, and uh, mainly the biggest threats were Absol to trap the Latias. Uh, there, was, there was no Snorlax. There was no Ampharos. There was no... Um, no Snorlax, no Ampharos, no Togetic. So he only brought three out of the six that I expected him to. I still had a shot there if he hadn't crit the Hydro, but I guess it's hacks for hacks, so you can say what you want. But very good game nonetheless. We'll take the loss on the first one. Unfortunately, the Montreal Habsals fall to 0-1, but we will be back next week, guys, and we will win our next game. And I promise you that. We're going to have good prep this time. We're going to be ready. It's very late right now. So thank you so much for watching. Hit that like button if you did enjoy. This was a pretty hype match. I liked it. It's a really cool first experience. And I think I'm going to be uh, getting better as time goes on. So uh, not too bad for a first uh, for a first game in the league, honestly. I'm pretty proud of myself for how I prepared. And 
uh, how I went about things. So, again, if you enjoyed, leave a like down below. Subscribe if you want to see more of these battles or my regular lives. And, yeah, thanks again for watching, guys. Ciao.